Amen. I don't think that we need to call the worship in the worship. Amen. And I think that in this church we already know that, that we don't need to be saying let's worship God. I think that that's something that just comes from within you already. Y en este mundo que estamos viviendo hoy en día, donde vivimos en un mundo lleno de maldad, un mundo lleno de pecado, vive en un mundo que es full of sin, un mundo que es full of sin, un mundo que es full of so many evil things, que sometimes it tries to consume us and it tries to get us. Y puede, y puede hacer que, que el enemigo ha tratado de destruir, de esta vida que tiene en el caso, de destruir you through the world. Amen. And in the world that we live in now, it's hard sometimes to distinguish between the world and between us believers in Christ. Muchas veces es difícil notar la diferencia entre las personas que sirven a Dios y creen en Dios y las personas que no y del mundo. It's hard sometimes to find that that separates you. Because we live in a world that's trying to get us. We live in a world that's trying to come in to our churches. We live in a world that has a devil that does not want to see us worshiping God. And nowadays, what's right is wrong, and what's wrong is right. You can't speak what you believe. You can't stand up for what you believe in because they'll criticize you. You can't say that you're a Christian because they'll judge you. You can't come out and say, I serve God, I serve the Almighty God because they'll think you're crazy. Pero aún en medio de este mundo que estamos viviendo, un mundo donde parece a veces que el pecado reina, todavía hay un Dios en los cielos que tiene la autoridad final. Todavía hay un Dios en los cielos que está en control y reina en nuestra vida. Pero yeah. si we have put to a point where it's hard to find that, that difference between us and the world. And let me tell you this message sent to my life first. I'm nobody. I'm just like you. But by the grace and mercy of God, I am used for His honor and His glory, just like you all. And it's hard now it's to find that separation. And nowadays, the Lord is looking for those people who have been separated. Amen. So tonight, The Lord is asking you, where are those that have been separated? Donde están aquellos que han sido separados? Where are those that have been separated from the world? Those that have been separated from evil? Those that have been separated from the negative things in this life? Where are those people now? Jesus. Donde están aquellos que han sido separados? Because you see many times when living in this world for the sin, estaba viviendo en este mundo lleno de pecado, y muchas veces, nos conectamos con cosas que a Dios no le agrada. We connect ourselves with things that the Lord, that it's not in His will, that it's not in His plan. We connect with things that we're not supposed to connect with. We walk with things that we're not supposed to walk with. We talk things that we're not supposed to be talking. Amen. Y nos conectamos a veces y andamos con los chinches. And we walk and we live a life with gossip. And we walk around. And then when we go to sleep at night, nos acostamos. And we sleep with one addiction. Y nos acostamos de la predicación. Y a veces nos levantamos de la mañana. Y andamos nuestra vida y andamos con depresión. Y estamos conectados a la ira. Y conectados a esa memoria que no suena de tu mente. And you wake up and get a message that memory that doesn't want to leave you. And you go to sleep at night and you're still thinking about that person that, that rejected you. And you wake up the next morning and you're still thinking about your struggle. Because you're connecting yourself with things that are bringing you down. Amen. You see, we connect ourselves, we connect ourselves with tantas cosas that are in contra of the voluntad of Dios para nuestra vida. Nosotros somos luz en medio de las tinieblas. God says, we are the light in the midst of darkness. You, you are the light in the midst of darkness. You can be the only light that somebody sees. You can be the only Jesus that somebody will ever know. You can be the only hope that somebody has in their life. Jesus. You. And many times we, we, we take that, we take that and take it so lightly that you can make a difference in somebody's life. And that's all you say, I can make a difference, I can make a difference. But when you truly believe that I can impact somebody, that yo puedo impactar a alguien y cambiar a alguien por medio del amor de Jesucristo. But you see, 
We're living in this world of darkness that we're supposed to be the light. But since we're connecting ourselves with these things, we're letting the darkness shut our light. We're letting the darkness consume our light. And there's no longer any light in the world. There's very few people that can say, I stand up for Jesus. I'm the light in the midst of the darkness. Why? Because being separated is not easy. Siendo separado no es algo fácil. Estar separado aquí hoy no es algo fácil. Ser indiferente no es algo fácil. You go through things, you go through battles, you go through struggles. But that's the price of being separated. How many are separated? How many are separated? You see, you're declaring you're separated. Automatically, you're declaring you're a target of the enemy. Siendo separado para Dios, pero sabes qué? Hay un enemigo que nos quiere ver destruido. Hay un enemigo que te quiere ver en el suelo. There's a devil that doesn't want to see you stand up. There's a devil that every time you wake up, he tries to kill you. And he uses whatever way he can to do it. There's a devil out there that wants to see you wiped out. There's a devil that wants to see you in depression. My God. Yes, my Lord. My God. Yes. But when you are separated by God, and you declare, Lord, I want to be separated from you. You called me. You chosen me. You brought him out of me. Be the target of the enemy. Amen. And he will use many different forms to get you down. You see the price of being separated. You're going to be rejected by man. Cuando tú te haces parado para el Señor, tú vas a ser rechazado por el hombre. No va a ser de vida ni de vida. You're going to face points in your life where people are going to criticize you, where people are going to speak negative. Va a quedar a punto donde la gente no va a creer en ti, no va a apoyar tu ministerio y no te van a ayudar. ¿Por qué? Porque tú eres separado. When you're separated, that's what comes with the package. When you declare, Lord, I want to be separated, I want to be rejected by man. And it's not easy because that enemy will do whatever he can do to get you to fall. And we're rejected by man. I know because four years ago, then, this month is going to be four years ago, we started hands in worship. And when I tell you that, it was not easy when we started. Right. It was not easy. And in this walk, personally, me, there have been people that have tried to put me down. There have been people that have spoken negative. There have been people that always have something negative to say about you. There are people that won't see the good in you, but just point out the worst in you. That's right. How many have been there? Amen. The people that have nothing good to say about you, I don't have to say something negative. Amen. But to see in the beginning, they used to bother me a lot. And that's what the enemy would use to distract me. It's a thing that the enemy was usado para distraer mi mente, to distract me, to take away my focus, the people. I would stand up to minister. And I would think about what that brother said. And I would think about what that sister said. And I would think about, wow, they think that about me. But, but is that true? Should I be here? So, and it brought me to a point. Me traído a un punto. Yo me quiero necesitar a decidir. Sigo al hombre o sigo a Dios. Do I serve God or do I serve man? Do I live my life to please man or do I live my God to, my life to please God? Do I live my life to make you happy or do I live my life to make God happy? And it's until you come to that point that you say, you know what? I'm going to forget about what they say. Me voy a olvidar de lo que la gente dice lo que piensa de mí. Y me voy a enfocar en lo que Dios ha puesto en mis manos. So I'm going to focus on what the Lord has placed in my hands. And it's until you do that, that you will truly see the hand of God move in your life. So when you say, Lord, I'm separated, you will be rejected by man. When you say, I'm separated, you say, Lord, I want to sacrifice my flesh. Me voy a faltar del mal. Me voy a faltar de esos malos deseos. The evil desires that are within me. Those desires that make me affect my brother and my sister. Those feelings that I feel towards my father and my mother. Those feelings, those feelings of hate that I feel against my brother and my sister. Jesus. Because the enemy will make you against your family. He will try to get you to go against your family and destroy that bond and that family that he has put in your life. 
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord God. And there are people here tonight that need to understand that the enemy is trying to take you and divide you from your family. Even if they don't serve the Lord. My God. My God. You are the light in that house. You are the light in that house. Rise up and be the light that you are meant to be in the midst of the darkness. In the midst of that house. Rise up. Praise the Lord. That's right. And you see many times these desires, these thoughts against our family, against our brothers and sisters in Christ, against leaders, against other people, against ourselves, and the enemy just keeps on filling our minds with these evil desires and these evil thoughts.